opportunity to make a difference in a person's life, personally as well as professionally. How many of you have been given a chance in your life to be able to do this? A few of us. How many would like to do it? So most of you would like to be part of that. How does it feel when you've helped, influenced, helped somebody grow and personally or professionally? How do you feel? Fun. Is it something you want to do all your life? I retired three and a half years ago, played golf for a couple of years, played almost every single day, got bored with it. It was fun. I did it. I was drawn to Toastmasters because for 35 years I had recommended it to people. I really didn't understand the dynamics of what Toastmasters was really about. I thought it was about public speaking. For me, that was the draw. What I learned was that Toastmasters is about leadership development, learning how to become effective communicators, and learning how to listen. And learning how to lead a volunteer organization is completely different than learning how to lead a company of employees of 50 to 120 that are there to make a paycheck. It's completely different. You have to be inspirational, positive. You will learn as you develop with your Toastmaster skills that it will help you in everything in your life. I'm looking for leaders. <clears throat> My objective is to solicit help from fellow Toastmasters on an adventure to help our fun team. We have District person, Sandy and Luna, who you've met, Saeed, Steve, <coughs> this lady named Sonia Bruno, Paul and I, in an area of six clubs. We need to develop leaders. We need to grow the club. You'll learn how to sell. You'll learn how to lead, how to teach leaders. We have three main goals. Grow membership, help them to have great meetings, find and develop leaders. That's what we're going to accomplish. And we're going to accomplish it with great people that have great enthusiasm and great energy. Does that mean you have to work 40, 50 hours a week doing it or 10 hours a week? No, you can if you want. But can you give one hour, two hours a week? We need a mixture of new people and old people. Experienced people, I should say. <laughs> I'm Take it back, so. though. <laughs> Ben's in what circle? <laughs> no, you're not to me. <clears throat> Let me tell you a little bit about the stats in our area. We have one leadership club and only one really good club. And that's Club 1067, which meets once a month. Besides the president, I'm the sergeant of arms of that club. It's an advanced leadership club. That club has 20 members. Don't have to worry about it. All I can do is ride along in the train and enjoy the learning that I'm enjoying there. I have a club called Master Builders, which has 13 members, one of which is brand new. They meet every week, Thursday mornings, 6.45 in the morning. <laughs> it's tough, 6.45 in the morning, every Thursday morning. But there's about 10 distinguished Toastmasters, so people that have great experience in there, Richard Snyder's in that group. Marjorie Banesh, who some of you know, who's an area governor. She's been an area governor many, many times, as well as other leadership positions in Toastmasters. We have a person like Forrest's goals in the future, a person that's 
goes out and does self-development self seminars. And he gave a great 10-minute self-development talk the other night that was amazing. We have a lot of really good people in there. It's a great club for people that have a job, 9 to 5, 9 to 6. Get there, get off to work. Richard Snyder belongs and he comes in for a half an hour. So it's a great place. If you want to join a club, that's a great place to learn because the two meetings that I've gone to, they've had five people and six people each time. So it means you get to speak, you get to evaluate, you get to grow. I have another one, Farms Finest, which is a state farm professional club. What an awesome club. Meets once a month. Very energetic group. Awesome place. Another company club, a phantom club, what I call, and that's Southern California Edison. They supposedly have six members. They don't exist. <laughs> Somebody put it in because one person in that division of Southern California Edison wanted to have a club, and they submitted all the paperwork, put in fake names, <laughs> and they kept the club alive. Well, she's excited about it. As I walk through the offices, there's hundreds of young, energetic, enthusiastic people that just need leaders and people to help develop them and show them how much fun this can be. We have another club that meets Monday nights, the second and fourth Monday at 5.30 at the Civic Center in Rancho Cucamonga. Awesome club. <coughs> Seven members. Another great opportunity. I finally got a hold of somebody there who is really looking for help in trying to put this club together. They, like Southern California Edison, have tried to build a club, but one person can't build a club. It takes a group of people. This club produces more leaders than any club that I know of. It's unbelievable the amount of leaders that are in this club. We have an opportunity to help ourselves, as, and more importantly, help others to grow. We have another club called WLC, which is an architect club. It meets an incredible building. They have 15 members that are really awesome. <clears throat> Most clubs have no agendas. They have no websites. They need a lot of help. I'm so excited about this set and talking about the clubs that my time's up. <laughs> so we need help to mentor, show these clubs how to have great clubs. We need to help them develop leaders and that's going to be something that I'm going to help work with you along with Steve, Saeed, Sandy and Molino, the district PR person, the district marketing person. And we're going to develop and have a lot of fun developing these clubs. So. I call on you to help yourself have a lot of fun in the next year. Any questions? No. Here. What are three ways that someone can help? to become a better leader in any club? Well, start by reading the leadership book. Start by, start by reading any book. Start by listening to the members that are in here that have experience. I was in business, been in management, running restaurants since I was 19 years old. Ran eight restaurants when I was 22, 23 years old had my own business that started with nothing. We had between 50 and 120 employees. We started a company at the LA County Fair that did something that nobody ever did, and that was to go from zero to do $2 million in 18 days. Hiring 70 people that are all temporary, part-time people. Unbelievable leadership challenge. You're hiring deliver 20 delivery people that are there for one reason. 
to try to figure out how to steal some money to go back on their unemployment benefits. <laughs> a few of them were there to try to hopefully do enough good deeds and good work to get put on. And out of the 20, 25 people that we hired for delivery, we'd get one or two out of there each year. Salespeople, we'd hire 50 new salespeople and train and teach them how to sell effectively audio video. The club, the district, the area, the division has all kinds of leaders and you'll learn how to do that from them. So it's a mastermind thing. It's something that it's very difficult to talk about in one minute, but basically there's a lot of experience on how to develop and build something from nothing. Any other questions? Thank you.